I have placed a cube structure in front of Zandi and Tebeka. It is made of 3 cm by 3 cm by 3 cm cubes. I have asked them to work out the total surface area that I would need to cover if I wanted to paint the structure. Well, because all the shapes are squares, then we just need to work out what the area of the square is. That's easy. The size of the square is equal, so it's length times length. Okay, well, let's measure, okay? So it's three centimeters, so they're both three centimeters, so length times length, so it'll be three times three, which is nine centimeters squared. So now we have to count the squares and multiply by nine. Okay, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Well, I have the answer, it's 21. 21? Mm-hmm. Okay, but I didn't get that. I got 24. Well, that's interesting. They both got different answers. Hey, that's not fair. I couldn't see the block at the back. Can you see that we need to know what a structure looks like, not only from the front, but also from the back? Let's look at this structure again. How many views do you think you need so that you can be sure about how many shapes there are? I think the back view and the front view is enough. No, I think to work it out, we're actually going to have to look from the back, the front, and then from the top. Let's see if we can find out. Before we go any further, it is important to understand how we show different viewpoints in mathematics. Take a careful look at this simple structure. According to Math's convention, this is how we show the structure with its three different views. If we look from the top, we see three yellow squares. This is the side view. We have two green squares. This is the front view. Can you see where they get the two red squares from? Let's see which views are needed to identify a structure correctly. Let's have a look at another structure. Do you think the back and front views are enough? I gave Zandi and Tobeka these views and asked them to make a building of what they think it represents. They both used the front and back views correctly, but they both got different structures than mine. Have a look at what I've got. Do you see that it's quite different to what Zandi and Tobeka got? Now what do you think went wrong? Can you see that you can get many different structures by only having information from these two views? Perhaps we need to have a front view and a top view. I asked Zandi and Tobeka to try that. Let's see if they will get the same structure as me now. Well, they still don't have it. What do you think we need? so that we can be sure that Zandi and Tobeka can make the structure that I have. I have asked them to try with these three views, a front view, a top view, and a side view. Now they have it. They needed all three views before they could build the correct structure. Now it's your turn. Try this next activity with us using your matchboxes. So far, we've only been using cubes, and a matchbox is not a cube. In fact, they are rectangular prisms. Now look carefully at these views, and while Zandi and Tobeka build, see if you can build your structure. I think they've got it now. 
Did you manage to get it with your matchboxes? Now that we've used all three views to construct a structure, let's use these three views to find the surface area of a structure. Now here are three views of one more structure. Let's see if you can work out the surface area of the structure. What would you do to tackle this problem? I think we should have a close look at the views and make the structure first using those views. To find the surface area, we need to count the number of surfaces. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 surfaces in the front view. Let's have a look at the back view. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 surfaces as well. Now let's have a look at the side view. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 surfaces. And the other side? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 faces on the top view. But don't forget about the bottom faces as well. It makes sense that there will be 6 surfaces on the bottom view. If we add them all together, we get 32 faces. Now, if we consider one square as our measuring unit, and all the faces are made of squares of the same area, we can say that the total surface area is 32 square units.